Fabrizio Romano reveals decision made over future of one Arsenal ace amid interest, and Arteta confirms that he wants the jewel from Newcastle United playing for the Gunners this summer. Stay with me until the end of the video to check out the latest news from Arsenal straight from the Emirates Stadium. But before that, if you're as passionate about Arsenal as we are, don't waste any time and subscribe to our channel right now to stay updated on everything happening with the greatest team in the Premier League. And without further ado, let's dive into today's top news. Fabrizio Romano has now confirmed on X that the club and Cedric have both decided to part ways at the end of the season when his contract expires. Cedric Soares will leave Arsenal as free agent in the summer, decision made, he posted. Portuguese RB remains fully committed to the club until June as top professional then he will leave. Many clubs in Europe, considering Cedric as top option for the summer on free transfer. Cedric has almost been forgotten this season, appearing just six times across all competitions, and is a fringe player for Mikel Arteta. The 32-year-old reportedly turned down offers from Benfica and Galatasaray in the January transfer window to remain at the club, and whilst his professionalism has been commended, he has little to offer on the pitch now, and will depart at the end of the campaign. What role will Cedric have at Arsenal for the rest of the season? Arsenal's recent run of incredible form in the Premier League actually saw an increase in game time for Cedric. With Arteta's side killing off games quickly within the first half, Arsenal were able to make substitutions to allow their key stars extra rest. Ben White has been carrying an injury for most of the season, but has been starting every week due to other absences. In recent big victories, Cedric has come on to replace him in the second half with the game already won. However, Takahiro Tomiyasu and Jurian Timber are now back in training, and once the pair return, it seems unlikely that Cedric will even make the bench on match day. The Euro winner has plenty of experience which can be useful in the dressing room, but it now seems that, barring unexpected injuries, he has played his last game for Arsenal. Many were surprised that Cedric was chosen ahead of talent such as Emile Smith-Rowe in recent weeks, as a substitute, but the logic was that White needed extra rest, and Cedric was the only senior defender on the bench at times. Arsenal are now weighing up making Newcastle United an offer for Alexander Isak in the summer. The 24-year-old has enjoyed a prolific campaign at St. James Park so far this season despite his occasional injury issues. Isaac has scored 16 goals in 30 games across all competitions on Tyneside. He has even penned 12 of the Sweden Stars' efforts in 20 Premier League fixtures. Eddie Howe has been without Isaac for a further seven of Newcastle's top-flight games due to a recurring groin injury. It most recently kept the Salnaborn striker out of action in February but he returned as Arsenal beat the Magpies 4-1 before scoring against Wolves and Chelsea. Now, the Express reports that Arsenal could be tempted to target Isaac's transfer, with Mikel Arteta's side long-term admirers of the Newcastle frontman. But the Gunners may also have to rival Manchester United for his signature, with the Red Devils also admiring the Toon star. Isaac is one of several options whom Arsenal are monitoring ahead of targeting strikers in the summer transfer window. The Emirates Stadium outfit also have eyes on SSC Napoli's Victor Osimhen, Brentford's Ivan Toni and Bologna's Joshua Xerxy among their leading targets. But Isaac has long featured on the North Londoners' radar and Arsenal are weighing up a new pursuit this summer. Newcastle could even boost Arteta's hopes as the Magpies may have to hold a fire sale, one which rival suitors Manchester United might not be allowed to exploit. Rio Ferdinand told Mikel Arteta to go all out for Alexander Isaac. According to iNews, Newcastle are keen to include a non-poaching clause in Dan Ashworth's move to Manchester United. The Toon and Red Devils are still thrashing out the terms of the sporting director's switch. But the Magpies want to bar him from returning for any transfers. The clause, which would cover a set period of time, could boost Arsenal's hopes of agreeing Isaac's transfer from Newcastle. Although the Toon have the striker under contract until June 2028. So, Arteta may have to tempt Isaac, who Rio Ferdinand feels could be ideal for Arsenal. Isaac, by the way, if I'm Arsenal, I'm going all out, Ferdinand told Five in January. I'm going and buying him. Arsenal ignored Ferdinand's suggestion in January, despite football transfers reporting then that Arteta's club are huge fans of Isaac. The Gunners could not afford a top-caliber striker in January without breaching FFP, but they will have the budget to swoop in the summer sales. Arsenal set new timeframe for when Jurian Timber will finally return from injury. 
The Dutch defender has missed the majority of the season after picking an ACL injury in the Premier League opener against Nottingham Forest, with Timber only returning to full training last month. The 22-year-old talent was signed from Ajax last summer in what was one of the most exciting deals of the window for Arsenal, with Timber arriving in North London with a huge reputation from the Netherlands. And according to Football London, Timber's return to action could come in the next few weeks after the international break, though it is unclear if the defender will make it in time to feature against Manchester City. With the Gunners looking to win the Premier League as well as the UEFA Champions League, Timber's return at the business end of the season has not come at a better time for the defender. Indeed, Timber impressed in pre-season and in the few minutes the youngster had against Forrest in the Premier League opener, as well as against City in the Community Shield. And in the final weeks of the season, Timber could play a huge role in getting Arsenal across the line in the Premier League, where the North London side will need every able body possible. One shining Arsenal lone star suggested as replacement for Arteta outcast next season. The exit of Edin Kedia could create room for Mika Birith at Arsenal. Arsenal are open to cashing in on Kedia in the upcoming summer transfer window. With Gabriel Jesus, Kai Havertz, and Leandro Trossard all available to lead the line for the Gunners, there is an argument that Mikel Arteta does not need to sign a direct replacement for the Hale End Academy graduate if he does depart. However, if the 24-year-old striker does leave the Emirates Stadium this summer, then that could create room in the first-team squad for Birith. The 21-year-old striker is currently in fine form whilst he is plying his trade on loan with Austrian outfit Sturm Graz. The Dane has netted 14 times this season, including his stint with Motherwell in the first half of the campaign. Arsenal have not yet made a firm decision on what to do with Birith in the summer. However, he is showing that he has plenty of potential, and he is certainly doing all that could be asked of him to impress whilst on loan. Could Mika Birith replace Edin Kedia at Arsenal? Arscast Extra podcast host Andrew Mangan believes that, if Nkidia does indeed leave the club, then Birith may well be handed the opportunity to take up a rotational role in the squad, providing some additional strength in depth. Of course, this would be a cost-effective move to say the least, as the Denmark under-21s international is already on the books at Arsenal. Mangan said, all the chat about, you know, Arsenal signing another forward, Maybe the other aspect of the situation is Edin Kedia, who we've also spoken about, whose minutes over the course of the last 3-4 months have really dwindled, being realistic, from his perspective, is this summer the right time for an Edin Kedia move? I would say yes, it probably is. Do you then need to have that third striker, that third forward, in your squad? Could he, Birith, be that guy? It would be a big ask for Birith to step up to the level currently expected at Arsenal, as with all due respect, Competing with Sturm Graz in the Austrian Bundesliga is not directly comparable. However, he has earned the right to be given a chance, in pre-season at the very least, to show what he can do in red and white. Even if it doesn't work out for Birith at Arsenal, he has boosted his profile and value hugely by virtue of his exploits on loan. As such, the Gunners should be able to fetch decent price for him if they do decide to move him on, and he won't be short of suitors. Well folks, those were the main news for today. If you enjoyed the video and want to stay updated on everything happening with our beloved team, you know what to do. Subscribe to the channel now and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any updates. Thanks for joining us, and until the next video.